My name is Melissa Martin, and I am the Education Manager here at the Flint River Aquarium. Um, I wanted to kind of introduce to you this little bitty guy here. We have many of them, some quite large, some smaller like this one. This is an American alligator, and um, he is a really neat creature, and they are aquatic and live in the southeastern United States. Um, but this particular animal, he's, got, he's considered a reptile, and what it means to be a reptile is animals that are reptiles have scales on their body. They lay eggs. They're cold-blooded. Those are a few, a few um, characteristics of a reptile. Now, if we start from his head up here, let's look at his head. Let's look at his eyes. He's got really good eyesight. But you know, humans, we have two eyelids. The American alligator has three. He's got one that comes across his eye. It's kind of a membrane, and it keeps debris from his eyes when he's underwater. It kind of acts like goggles. So he's got this extra, extra eyelid that acts like goggles for him. He's got some. Um, he's got a very large mouth with some really sharp teeth. They can have anywhere from 80 to 100 teeth in their mouth, and over their lifetime, they can have any. They can have up to 2,000 teeth because teeth come out and they can grow new ones, amazingly enough. Uh, if you look towards the tip of their snout there, there's two nostrils, act like little snorkels when they're swimming around in the water. All they have to do is just stick the tip of their nose up out of the water in their eyes and they can hunt and look for animals and keep from becoming prey. That's really important too if you're small like this. The hatchling alligators, the alligators that hatch directly from an egg, they're only about a foot long, they're not very big at all. And um, they get eaten by a lot of animals when they're that young. Believe it or not, alligator mortality is pretty high. It's about 80%. So not very many survive to adulthood. Um, but, um, and they get eaten by raccoons and birds and turtles and different other types of animals. Um, but of course, when they get to be an adult, um, and they are going to be the, um, the top predator. And there's pretty much nothing that's going to mess with them at that point. And they have lots and lots of animals that they'll eat. In fact, they'll probably eat just about anything they can get their, get their mouths on. So it's, they're really interesting. Now, if we follow this animal down the body here, its scales on the back. On an on a, um, alligator, you might call them scutes or maybe plates. They've got a really, really tough hide. They're like a tank. It's really amazing. And we follow it all the way down to their tail. Their tail is very interesting because they can use it for propulsion to give them thrust to move through the water. Or they can use it as a weapon. Or they can also use it to burrow out and wallow out an area that collects water. Which is one reason why they're called a keystone species. Um, this animal, in drought seasons, they can um, move their tail around in an area of their habitat and create a, a wallow area where water can collect and it's helpful for other animals that need water too. So that's why they're called keystone species.